let's start example 3 part a okay uh, we'll uh, use d by dx notation okay, so we are asked to differentiate x cube of sine x okay so again this function is not listed under the basic functions so we have to use one of differentiation rules okay so if you look at the rules here this is constructed by the product of x cube and sin x okay so that means it's constructed by a product of two functions it's matrix this side we have to use this product rule okay so if you look at the product rule okay it's uh, left hand side asks to differentiate a product okay so first take the product of two functions and differentiate like here no differentiate the product of two functions okay but here it's we cannot simply change the order like the sum no we cannot just uh, do the individual function and take the product okay we cannot do just if it's like sum if it just allowed the change of order it would have been like this no differentiate each function and then multiply okay take the product okay so here it's not allowed no so that's why i said we are not always support uh, allowed to change the order of the operations okay here it's little bit more complicated but we can get it down to the uh, de differentiation of inter uh, basic functions okay so the product rule says here first keep the one function first function out and just differentiate second function so here we are just differentiating g the second function and multiply it by the first function no plus or uh, then keep the second function and just differentiate the first function okay so here i keep the second function along and just differentiate the first function okay so here again I am differentiating the individual functions but it's more complicated than just changing the order. No? Here you multiply by first function, original function times the derivative of the second plus the original function times the derivative of first. Okay. So if we are applying this product rule, here I will identify, compare this uh, left hand side with this given function to identify f and g. No? when we apply a formula always we normally compare the left hand side with the given problem and identify the parts now so here f is x cube and g is sin x so if here we plug into the formula in the place of f it's going to be f dg by dx plus g df by dx no okay so when we uh, apply the formula here we can plug into f I identify x to be f plugging into the formula so I identify f to be x cube okay so in the place of f I write x cube okay so here we plug into the formula so I identify f to be x cube so I plug x cube into f okay so here and then derivative of I identify g to be what sin x I replace this by sin x okay plus then in the second side this g is sin x is along no so i just sin x here times d by dx of f no f is x cube okay now applied the rule now if i look at here i have to differentiate individual function here and here no and these functions are basic functions they are listed in this list so directly i can go and differentiate them now using one of the basic rules that is I'm taking the derivatives now, no? So the derivative of sin x is cos x, I drop it. The derivative sign. Sin x, here I have to do the n rule, no? Power rule, here I have to identify n first. n is by comparing 3. So here I bring down the n according to the rule, so I bring down 3. And x, the power, I go 1 down, no? From 3 minus 1, 1 down is 3 minus 1, which is 2, okay? So here I use the product rule, okay, 
and differentiated. Again, when I use the product rule, it, I break down the problem into differentiation of basic rules, then apply one of these basic rules. Okay? So when I started the original function, I don't have a basic rule. I use a one of differentiation rule. I convert the problem into a where one I can do differentiate individual function and use the basic formulas here in this step. Okay. Here I can just differentiate each individual function sine and x cube and use a basic formula. Okay, always our general plan is this. Okay. But here we cannot just simply change the operator uh, operation for the product rule. Okay, remember that. Now x cube going to cos x. In the final answer, it's always better to write this 3x squared in front. Okay, just to point out it's not inside the sign. Okay. And because, because of the, the commutative rule, rule, I can change them over no? Okay, before going on to the next rule, uh, let me mention something about this uh, product rule. Okay, uh, 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 important about this product rule is you can write it in few different form. Okay, so here we start with this left side. Okay. So one thing here I can do, I can use the commutative law and addition and change this order. No? So I get what g times df by dx and f times dg by dx. Okay. Also I can change the positions of df and g using the uh, commutative law on product here no this is a product so i can write this first and here it won't change no it's the same results okay or this is a plus sorry okay and here i have dg by dx and f okay again i could have changed the order here i could have write g dg here and f here and df first and g second okay so you can write it in four forms okay but it's the same thing okay because of the commutative property of this addition and multiplication by changing the terms okay each form you can observe it what you have differentiation of one function times the other one in original form plus the you different next you differentiate function you didn't differentiate and multiply by the original of the other function okay so that is the form, okay, so different books use different ones depending on that, your answer may look little uh, dif uh, different in order, but all of them you can get it the same form by using commutative laws, okay, so it's just, so because if you see another place, a product rule, they might use a different order than this, maybe they use this, or they, maybe they use this, it's the same thing, okay, because you can use the commutative property of product and addition operations. Okay. So now let's move on to part B. Okay. Let me erase this. Okay. Uh, let's start by part B. Okay. Part B here uh, we use the dash notation. Okay, so part B, let's use the dash notation. Okay. So again, this is a product. So we can use the product rule. We have to identify F and G no? by comparing these sides. So the F, I write this to be F, first function, and that is sin X, and G is cos X. No? So here we plug into the product formula. So f is sin x, so the first function without differentiation. No? So now I am plugging into the formula. And then second function I have to g cos x I have to differentiate here. No? I put the dash sign here plus I have g g is what? G is g is cos x, no? So here I don't differentiate the cos x. So I can function g without differentiating times differentiate the first function sine. No? Here I am using the dash, so I put sine dash. Okay? 
Now these are derivative of basic functions again, so I can differentiate. So I get sign. Derivative of cos x is what? Negative sign. No, so here there's a negative sign is missing. So the derivative of cos x is negative sin x. No? So here, so there is a negative sign missing. I add the negative sign here in this formula. So, okay, sorry about that. Uh, this negative sign is missing. Okay, now if I look at here, this is a derivative of cos. It's a derivative of this basic function. I can differentiate it now. Here is the derivative of sine, is the derivative of this basic function, it's listed here, so I can differentiate this individual function. Okay, so again we don't know the derivative of this guy, by using a differentiation rule we broke it down to derivative of basic functions. No? So I have sine x sitting outside here, and then the derivative of cos x is negative sine x, no? from this formula. So I write negative times negative sin x, no? Yeah. Plus cos x times derivative of sin x, again it's a derivative of this basic function is cos x. Now sin times sin is sin squared, cos times cos is cos squared. No? So here I can write cos squared x minus sin squared x. No? Maybe this, okay? So from a trick formula I can write this as cos 2x. Okay? So this is you are done here at the differentiation. Okay? You are done with differentiation here. Okay? Here I want the positive term plus cos squared and sin squared here. Okay? And then cos squared minus sine squared is cos 2x. No, that is a trigonometric formula. Okay. So if you want, you can leave the answer like this. Okay, because you are only asked to differentiate. Okay, depending on the situation, it might be useful to write it like this also, cos 2x. Okay. So, but here to here, it's nothing to do with differentiation. It's just a trigonometric uh, 